Haiti, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, has been plagued by tragic natural disasters, rampant hunger, diseases, and pollution. John Wiener knows that these problems can be confronted by empowering the communities to protect their homeland's coastal resources, especially the drastically depleted forests and marine life. The fisheries sector in Haiti has been in trouble for several decades now. Overfishing, using inappropriate methods, not respecting fishing seasons. It's quite disturbing seeing the size of the fish that they're catching now. And they know that what they're doing is not good for the environment, it's not good for them, it's not good for the sustainability of the fisheries, but they have no other choice. Fisheries habitat in the mangrove forests and coral reefs were also degraded. The charcoal issue in Haiti is probably our biggest environmental issue. But this is Haiti's mangroves now, which are being cut down and turned into charcoal. The mangroves play a critical role as fish nurseries for protecting the coastline against storm surges and for protecting the coral reefs. More than 20 years ago, Wiener and his organization, the Foundation for the Protection of Marine Biodiversity, set out to establish Haiti's first marine protected area to safeguard the mangroves, the coral reefs, and the fisheries. Faced with persistent political instability in Haiti, Wiener focused on creating solutions to restore a healthier, more sustainable marine ecosystem. The group planted more than a million trees. Their education program emphasizes the critical need to protect the plants from being cut down for charcoal. This is part of our educational activities with the local community to make sure that they feel a sense of pride, that they planted these trees, and that they will hopefully defend them from people who might want to cut them down. Wiener also launched efforts to restore degraded coral reefs, another key habitat for fish. We're trying to grow some of these corals, which are important for fisheries, just to give Mother Nature a helping hand. It's grown to five times of what it was when we started in about a year. So it's critically important to help manage these resources. In 2013, after 20 years of research, outreach, and lobbying by Wiener and the community stakeholders, the Haitian government finally declared Caracol Bay and Port Salut as Haiti's first two marine protected areas, securing formal protection for the mangroves, the coral reefs, and the fisheries. When I brought my children out here, they just felt a, a tremendous sense of pride in knowing that their father had helped establish this protected area for Haiti. But more importantly, I think at their age, they just thought it was something really cool, uh, someplace where they'll be able to maybe even take on the work after I'm gone. I think we're looking at something great for our future here. For outstanding environmental achievement for islands and island nations, the 2015 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Jean Wiener, Cap Haitian, Haiti.